The consolidating data feature is a lot like uh, the auto sum function in that you can summarize a range of data, but the biggest difference between the two is that consolidating data will summarize data from several ranges into a single range, not just a single cell. For example, I've got my consolidated uh, sales 2010 workbook, and I've got my employees down at the bottom, Dot, Gertie, and Lizzie. I want to be able to take all the quantities that they sold for these products here into the single range. For example, there's Dot Warner. There's all the quantities she sold for each item. Well, let me do this. Let me come up here, click on the View tab, go to the Window group, and let's do Arrange All. Select Tiled and click OK. So we can see the workbooks all at once. So here's my Consolidating uh, Sales 2010 workbook, and here are all the others. And I want to take all their quantities of sales for each item and combine them or consolidate them all into uh, this range here, which makes it nice because then I don't have to open up each workbook and uh, take a look and add them up in another workbook, doing it the long way when I can use this feature here. You'll notice also that the ranges for the quantity in each workbook, they're all the same. For example, in this workbook, Dot Warner, the quantity for the items are from cell C5 down to C12, C5 to C12, and so on, and also in my consolidated workbook. The reason why I do that is because it makes it so much easier to use this feature when everything's consistent or in the same place. So let me go ahead and maximize that. Now, before you do the consolidation here, make sure that you have all the workbooks that you want to take the data from or consolidate or dump into this range here that they're open, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and come up here, click on the Data tab, go to the Data Tools group, and there's the Consolidate. You can see when I hover over it that it says it'll combine values from multiple ranges into a new range, not just a single cell. Before I click on it, I'm going to go ahead and select the range that I want to dump all the other ranges into. So it's that range right there. Click on Consolidate. And then you've got, well, a list of functions. You don't have to summarize it or get a sum of it. You can do count, average, max, and so on. We'll go ahead and do sum. Keep it simple. Then we want to go ahead and click the uh, collapsible dialog box button here for the first reference. What's that first reference? It's going to be dot. Go ahead and select the range for dot for her quantity. Hit enter to pop it open and click add. It's that simple. We'll click it again and go to Gertie or the next workbook. And we'll go ahead and select the same range. See it keeps it consistent here. Hit enter to pop it open. When I'm selecting the same range, C5 through C12 as opposed to, I don't know, some other place in the workbook, click Add. And then finally, let's click Collapse again, go to Lizzie, and select the range there, hit Enter to pop it back open, and then click Add. So I've got my three, and then down below a few extra options. It says when we go ahead and we pull the data in, do you want to use the labels from the data, either in the top row or the left column? I could use the top row, but except the consolidated workbook that I'm pulling it all into already has the label up there, so I don't need to check top row. And the left column, well, it's way over here. It's not right next to it, so I don't want to do that. But nonetheless, you have those options. I'm going to go ahead and check to create links to the source data, so at any time they make changes in their workbook, it'll automatically update mine. Then just go ahead and click okie dokie, and there you go. A couple of changes. First of all, it consolidates all the data, so we get a total of two sales for the bubblegum from all three employees. And if I want to break it down, you'll notice that over here to the left of the uh, row headers, that you've got these plus signs. And if you watch my auto outline grouping uh, training video, you'll know that you can expand them to reveal more information or click on the minus sign to collapse them. You can either do it that way or you can come up here and do it by level. One has them all collapsed. 2 expands them all. And what's nice about this is, is that if I want to find out, like let's say I'm looking for nerd ropes here, the sales, and the total quantity that's there is 443. You can see it's summing the range, C9 through C11. And if I'm like, who in the heck only sold one, go ahead and select it, and it will point you to the workbook, and coincidentally the workbook was named after the employee, so there we go. Gertie Biltmoitner didn't do a great job in selling our uh, double bubble gum here. Let me go ahead into one of the other workbooks and make a change and just verify that it'll automatically update that this consolidated workbook is linked to all the other workbooks. So let me change Double Bubble in one of the other employees' workbooks. Um, do something to exaggerate the number. Let's do Dot Warner. And let's say that she sold 200. Hit Enter. Go back to my consolidated workbook and it went from 2 to 202. There you go. And you can see above when I select that. Well, because the... Uh, row was shaded. 
when it expanded, it expanded the shade, so that's why it's looking kind of funny here. But nonetheless, there's 200 for Dot Warner. You can see your name up in the formula bar, and then we get the total down here, 202. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.